Want to make money with AI, guaranteed to work in just minutes or without hardly lifting a finger? In this AI tutorial video, I reveal how to craft faceless YouTube videos using top text to AI video AI generators. These tools churn out complete edited videos, unlike more basic AI video generators such as Sora, that offer just one clip at a time from one prompt. These best text-to-video AI generators are a quicker and more cost-effective method than traditional video editing, allowing bulk creation for your YouTube channel, boosting earnings through ad revenue, which you can then compound with affiliate marketing. Let's get straight into the best three text-to-video AI generators. Let's start with InVideo AI, where you can create videos with text prompts. Coming down a little bit further, we can see a little bit of a demonstration video on how it works. It's easy and free to sign up, but I've already done that, so I'll log in. Immediately, we're presented with the creation panel complete with the prompt box and the workflow area. One major point of difference that InVideo has is that you can create a script from a prompt and then it builds the video from there. You'll see later with Pictory and Flicky that you need to generate the script yourself using, for example, ChatGPT. So this really is a one-stop shop for AI automated videos. I want to create a four-minute YouTube video on the top five island getaways in Asia and I want the script to be funny and casual and add subtitles on the video. I can just go ahead and generate the video from there. There's also the manual way of doing things where you can modify your prompt and change these settings, put in a pre-prepared script and much more. For this demonstration, I'm going to use the default generate video option. From here, it will go through and analyze the video, come up with some suggested title generations, and at this point, you're prompted to choose the audience, look and feel, and platform. I'll go with these defaults for now. And from here, it builds the video. So this will take some time to do, depending on the length of the video, typically a couple of minutes. So we'll find out just how well it does. Great, that's fully built. Let's go ahead and play a section. You know what's the best thing about vacationing on an island? Longest lava tube. Let's skip through a little bit. We have the tropical paradise, Bali, Indonesia. So that looks absolutely great. We've got a fantastic voiceover talking nicely about these places. The stock images used are right on point and we've got subtitles on the screen. So that's working really well, all with no effort from me at all. From here, I can go ahead and regenerate the video if I'm not happy with it, or I can prompt the AI to make changes automatically. For example, we could change the first video clip of the fifth scene, and that's now changed it to an aerial view. This is another feature that's unique to InVideo. Now, if you're not happy with the voiceover, you can take it to the next level and clone your own voice, which is as simple as uploading a voice recording and it will then create a voice clone from that. More on that in a later video. This is an amazing new feature and I'll detail this more in a later video. You'll notice down the bottom we have a watermark. Now when I export this video, since I'm on a premium plan, these watermarks will be removed when I export the video. Now in video is completely free to use, no credit card required, but the limitation to the free version is you'll have those watermarks displayed on the exported video. So with all the great features I've touched on, plus with access to millions of stock footage clips and a human-like voiceover, InVideo AI gets my number one pick for the best text-to-video AI generator. Okay, Pictory is similar in power to InVideo. It's quite a similar process. However, some key differences are is that it won't create the prompt for you like in InVideo, and once the video is constructed, there's no feature to automatically edit things like there is in InVideo. So an intermediate step here is to go over to ChatGPT and get it to write a blog post about the top five island getaways in Asia. Once we've got the script, we'll go over and choose the script to video template. Here is where we have the script editor and we'll paste in the script we just generated in ChatGPT. One thing about Pictory is it will only choose one action clip per sentence. So if you've got a long sentence, it's only gonna have one clip. So another intermediate step I did here was to put a line break after each segment of a sentence, which directs Pictory to choose one action word out of that line. And make Make the cuts faster and have a new piece of footage more frequently. Once that process is done, we'll just click proceed and here's where we choose a template. This essentially chooses where the subtitles will go and also the aspect ratio of the video. Here is the generation process. I'm going to skip through this really fast. It does take a number of minutes, but I'll sped it up for the purposes of this video. And here we are presented with the completed edit and the storyboard. So on the left, we have all of the different scenes that are broken up in the step beforehand. On the right, we have the preview of what the actual clip is that it's pulled from the stock footage to use. And then below that, we have the opportunity to make some edits. You can see there is an option to adjust the scene duration, but I had mixed results with getting it to do this. Instead of playing the video out to preview the whole thing, what I can do is just click each of these scenes and see what the corresponding stock footage is. I can go through one by one to make sure that they match up with what I'm speaking about. Here is one where it's not, so I'm going to have to go through and edit that. And as I keep going through here, you can see it matches up quite well. Pack your bags. Well, that's not the right kind of bag we want, so I'm going to have to change that as well. So let's do that. So I just need to click that scene, head over to the visuals section, and then do a search for the type of footage that I want. So I'll change this one out for boat trip 
and let's put in suitcase here and that's going to be the right bag to pack. Once you've gone through and made sure all those clips are matching up and they're relevant, we can then go ahead and preview the video. And that's looking pretty good. Next, we can go over and add in background music, which is just a matter of browsing which one you like. And then you can even choose to add in a voiceover. You can select the gender and have a bit of a preview as to what these voices sound like. If you'd rather use your own voice, then you can just drag and drop in the audio recording that you've already done. And it, it will magically automatically sync your voice to the text that's already in place. That may shorten or lengthen the overall duration of the video, depending on how fast you're speaking. And we can see here we have a duration of four and a half minutes. The last step is to just go ahead and export the video. Comparing Pictory with InVideo, you can see that Pictory has a lot more manual processes. Maybe they'll improve this in the future, but for now, the winner of the best text-to-video AI generator goes to InVideo. Let's now compare these two to Flicky. Once again, Flicky is very similar in power to the other two apps we've shown. You can start with doing a tutorial, which are quite useful. We have Idea to Video, which is similar to InVideo in that it will create the script for you, or you can copy and paste the script in like we did with Pictory, and there's other options too. Let's close out the tutorial and go straight into the creation of a new video. Let's go with English with a US accent and then we'll change the aspect ratio to landscape. This brings us to the magic create section and then we'll copy and paste in our prompt. I'd like to make the duration four minutes but it's asking us to upgrade to be able to do that so we've restricted to one minute for this example. This next section is progressive in that you can choose between either stock media or video or image or AI media of video or image. This is just in beta mode, so I'm gonna compare apples with apples and stick with stock media. The template select screen is similar to Pictory in that we just change basically where the subtitles go. That's all done, we'll click submit and we are creating. The progression bar moved quite quick, so I didn't have to speed this section up much. I'm very impressed with how quick that was generated. Okay, here is the edit screen and we've got down the bottom a timeline where we can sort of scrub through the whole video and make sure that everything's sort of generally looking good. You can see we've got a combination of stock footage, subtitles, and then sometimes we have on-screen text. Let's play a bit out with sound on. Sunny escapes. Lap your way through Asia's top island getaways. Ever dreamed of escaping to an island so gorgeous? Okay, so quite a pleasant voice there and some nice background music. On the left, we have the actual editing area. So we have up the top a common scene. This is where you can choose the music that goes across your whole video. Next, we have our different scenes. And then when you open up the scene, it's broken into its components of the voiceover. So this is where you change what the voiceover says. And then for layout, this is where the stock footage is here. So if I don't like that piece of stock footage, I can change that to an Asian island. Yeah, maybe Ha Long Bay in Vietnam. That's a, an island in Asia. However, that's a premium feature, so I won't be able to select that now. Moving on, and we have our on-screen text. So if we don't want to have that in there, we could just remove that altogether. So just scrolling down some of these scenes, we can see, for example, this one has a similar makeup with the text that's used for the voiceover, the stock footage, and the on-screen text. So I think this is a very clever way of presenting the edit. It's a great combination of having all the features you need, but also being very usable. One limitation here is again that it's only provided one stock video clip for one whole sentence. Now if I'd like to go ahead and insert an intermediate scene, I can just do so. I can put in whatever I wanted to say and then choose some stock footage to go with it, as well as the on-screen text. From here, it's really easy to download. You just hit that button, tell it what format to go in, and then start the export. That won't take too long to process, and once done, you've got your video. So again, a very quick and easy process to go from idea to produce video in a very short amount of time. So the best text-to-video AI generator goes to InVideo AI, followed closely by Flicky, with Pictory coming up in third place. Check out this video now to see the best free AI image generators and how to make money online with them. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can get more AI updates as they happen. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.